Welcome back to another YouTube video. It's your girl Chrissy Cello here and in today's YouTube video I'm actually going to take you through a brand new workout that you haven't seen on this channel before. Myself and my dear friend Danielle Wilson who's also an Evolve You trainer decided to merge both of our training styles into one program and the reason being is because as you guys know as much as I love bodybuilding as much as I will always do bodybuilding I also wanted to try something different to move my body in a way that feels completely different and to see what I'm capable of. And also sometimes moving a certain way can feel really repetitive. So exploring different avenues and exploring different ventures just opens you up to different capabilities and honestly being really proud of what your body can do. So I'm gonna take you through one of the lower body workouts from this program. It is advanced, but I will modify it down in the description so make sure you check that out. But also it's been a week since I've come back to the gym and this is gonna be my fifth session of the week. So I'm feeling <laughs> pretty tired and I'm feeling pretty stiff but we're gonna go through it and I'm gonna do the entire workout with you and we're gonna see how I go but anytime I need to modify something we'll modify it along the way I'm also having my woman's best pre-workout the link is in the description as always sweet peach is my favorite so let's warm up Guys, if you have tight hips or if you struggle with a niggling pain on your hips, try this hip opener. So extend one of your legs outwards, bend the other one. And it looks really weird, but you're just gonna rock and you're gonna sit back on your heel and rock forward and then sit back on your heel. It will completely open that area up and it will feel so much better when you go and you squat. One thing I've realized that the older I get, oh my gosh, my body needs it. It's not even a, oh, you should do it. It's, if I don't do it, I will not be able to move. So I've started incorporating these little mobility routines into my workouts and it's completely changed my life. So the first superset that we are doing, by the way, this is Danielle's part. So I'm looking at this and I'm actually thinking, what was she thinking? Because this is gonna be intense. So I'm gonna pre-warn you right now. So the first superset is going to be a barbell split squat straight into a plyo step up. So if you struggle with a barbell, because number one, barbells are very intimidating, especially because of the size of them. And especially if you don't have good balance, I highly recommend just using dumbbells. One or two is completely fine. Or if you completely don't have any balance, you hold on to some form of stabilization to help you navigate the movement. When you feel more confident, you remove your hand from the stabilization, use both hands. When you feel more advanced, you go onto barbell. But before you go onto barbell, I also recommend a Smith machine because it gives you, again, more stabilization. What you'll notice on the Power Strong program is the rep range is actually lower. And the reason being is because you are doing a ballistic move with a strength training move. So your strength training move right now will be the barbell split squat. And then you're gonna come over to your box and you're gonna give me a big plyo ballistic move. And you're gonna step up, jump down. Again, if you don't feel comfortable using a box, that's absolutely fine. All I want you to do is just jump up like so. So we're gonna find alternatives so you don't feel like things are overwhelming. We're gonna go straight into it. Not gonna lie guys, I, I'm, I, I know this is gonna be a lot of work today. Let's go. From your unilateral strength move, straight into the plyo. This box could be a bit, a bit taller than I expected. So we're gonna jump up. Oh. <laughs> 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 
It's called power. Right, we're up in the weight. 15 kg on each side. Five reps. talking about Sasha getting Jonas Brothers tickets. He's like recording whilst trying to get these tickets. He's number 13. Let's pray to God he gets them. Who else have you seen this year? So you've seen like Hannah Montana. <laughs> Two tickets. We'll put a third one in there as a giveaway. <laughs> I'm joking. Woof. So a few things you need to know about this type of training. Now, the aim of the game is to produce more power and acceleration in your movements. So in order for you to do that, it's actually really important for you to lift heavy. Your form is absolutely vital, but the aim of the game is lifting as heavy as you can. And that's why the rep ranges on your strength aspect are really short. So for example, five to six reps on a split squat is different to hypertrophy, which is going to be about, you know, eight to 12 reps. So focusing purely on strength and power. So once you've done your five to six reps, that's also an indication that you should be lifting heavy. If I was telling you to do eight to 12 reps, then it would have been probably, let's say, 65 to 70% of your one max rep. So you could actually get to that rep range. In order for you to create more velocity and more height, you need more power in your legs, and that stems from muscles. So the stronger you are with your weights, the higher you will go with your jumps. So that's why don't shy away from adding a bit more weight to the bar. Next thing we're doing is a conventional deadlift, which I absolutely hate. Uh, <laughs> But in order for you to change or make growth, you've got to do things that also make you feel uncomfortable. When performing a conventional deadlift, I want you to step over to the bar so you actually see your toes right in front of you. Your feet should be about shoulder width apart, a little bit wider to what your natural foot stance is. You're going to grab the bar out, just like so. I don't want a wide grip. I don't want a narrow grip. I want your grip to essentially be just on the outside of your legs, just like so. So not narrow, not too wide, just on the outside. So your hands are kissing your shins. When performing a conventional deadlift, you want to sit in to a squat position, retracting your shoulders back, lifting the weight, just like so, and then bringing it back down. Differences with an RDL, you have more of a hip hinge, so you don't have a bend and a pull. You have, have a hinge and a pull instead. With a sumo, you have a wide stance. You do have a sat down position. Your hands are more narrow grip and you're pulling the weight upwards. But with a conventional, everything has to be tight in a little concealed box. You wanna keep everything neutral, chest upright as you're bringing the weight up and then you're drawing it back down. That feels quite light. Let's add some weight. Yeah. I'm so tired. You know, this workout is taxing and it's because you're doing so much of different things. So you're doing big compound moves, unilateral moves, plyo moves. So you're moving your body in completely different complexities. So your slow and fast twitch fiber muscles are really fired up and really interactive. And whereas normally with bodybuilding, because you're not doing any plyo and you're actually isolating quite a bit, especially let's say if you're doing shoulders, you're 
going to hit different areas of your delts doing different types of movements. Although it's taxing on that specific muscle, it's not as taxing as let's say a big conventional deadlift or even an explosive plyo move, which requires all your fast twitch fiber muscles to be alert. So that's why what you will notice, especially in Danielle's ones, your workouts won't look as long. You'll have maybe two supersets and one, one compound move. Whereas with bodybuilding, you actually end up having a little bit more movements in there, just purely on the basis that they're isolations uh, and they're not as taxing. I only have three. <laughs> Sasha looked at the dumbbell and he goes, what is this? He goes, it's so big. To his surprise, this is 47.5 kg. But the reason is, is we're gonna be doing a sumo squat. Normally you're supposed to do this on elevation so you create more depth. However, they only have one box and I don't have the second box, so we're just gonna do it on a flat surface. Once you've finished here, doing about five to six reps, really controlled and taking your time with it, we're gonna go straight into a goblet squat with elevated heels, so we hit that quad much, much more. And you're also gonna work your core. Anytime you do a squat where you're holding the barbell or a dumbbell frontal, you're going to work your core much, much more. So there you have it, a brand new lower body workout that you haven't tried yet on my YouTube channel that I hope you just give a go. I know it's intense and overwhelming, but I'll put an alternative workout in the description so you can screenshot it and take it to the gym with you. Make sure that you check out the Evolve You app. It's the only place you will find the Power Strong program. So just give it a go, even if it's for seven days, 10 days, just do something instead of nothing at all. Thank you so much for always showing your support. Leave a thumbs up as it goes a long way and I love you always and forever.